Welcome back to YouTube and to the latest Z Code System video here on YouTube. Great to be back with you. I'm Drew, and we are going to be looking at today the upcoming games in the Scottish Premiership Football League. Now, the Football League, or Soccer League, if you will, is getting ready to kick off for the major leagues around Europe. And this weekend, we're going to see a few leagues kick off, including Scotland's Scottish Premiership. And it should be a great season in the Scottish Premiership. Now, Today, or this week, I guess, I'm going to be coming to you with something a little bit different. Rather than writing out and, and doing long, extensive blogs on the Scottish Premiership and um, some picks, I'm just going to give you a video, some quick hits, if you will, from the video here on YouTube, as well as you can watch this over at the Z Code System website if you would prefer to watch it there. But as you can see on your screen in front of us, there's the zcodesystem.com backslash blog, and you can get all of your great news and views there and picks going forward for whatever sport it is that you are betting on. And I'm sure that a lot of you are getting excited about the various sports that are um, in action around the world, including baseball, which goes into the Major League Baseball trade deadline today. Uh, so you'll be keeping abreast of that. But as also you can see there, we've got an educational blog up and a video to come shortly. Um, betting odds, how to read American odds, decimal odds, and fractional odds. If you need to get... Uh, uh, polished up on your your betting odds and how to read them and what they mean, then by golly, go over and read that blog and then watch the video as well that we'll have posted inside that blog or up here on YouTube. But of course, like I said today, we're doing some quick hits. We're going to look at some uh, picks for the upcoming weekend in the Scottish Premiership. Now, the league kicks off tomorrow, and it should be a very good year in Scotland. And of course, if we're talking about Scottish football, we've always got to talk about the two top teams in the old firm, Rangers and Celtic. Of course, as always, we are using the Soccer Buddy tool. If you followed us on the European Championships this season, and I told you, I told you from the start, Italy were going to win the tournament. If you followed along with us all tournament long, you got to know the Soccer Buddy tool. And if you're a member of Z Code System, I'm sure you are uh, familiar with the Soccer Buddy tool as well. So go over to the website and use that there. And we're going to show you these picks here for the upcoming games this weekend in the Scottish Premiership uh, using the Soccer Buddy tool. So let's scroll down here. And if you don't know how to use it, obviously you can click on how it works. And uh, let's get these quick hits. Uh, going now. And we're going to have four games coming to you on Saturday. So we're going to look at these four games because the two biggest teams in Scotland are going to be playing and that's Celtic and Rangers. Obviously, they're not playing each other yet. We'll wait for that derby later this season. Now, let's start with that Rangers game, which is going to be coming to you uh, towards the end of the day there in Scotland. Rangers won the Scottish Premiership title last season, uh, beating everyone in front of them. They, they tallied 102 points, which was a brilliant return, uh, about 24, 25 points more than Celtic earned during the season. Now, I can't see past Rangers, uh, it, excuse me, I can't see any other team in Scotland winning the Premiership this season other than Rangers. Rangers are absolutely brilliant. Uh, Steven Gerrard, ex-Liverpool uh, player, uh, is doing well with them. And really the only way I can see Rangers slipping up and allowing Celtic to lift the title is if Rangers get caught up with their Champions League um, Champions League campaign. Now they're going to be playing in the third qualifying round coming up this coming week uh, on Tuesday, uh, August the 3rd, I want to say that is. Uh, they'll be playing Malmo in that third qualifying round first leg. Um, if Rangers uh, do not have their eyes on the prize in Scotland uh, and let those Champions League uh, commitments get in the way, then I can see them slipping up and losing the title. But really, to be honest, I think Rangers are going to win this title. Uh, and it might be a little bit more difficult than last year, but I still think they're going to win it. And as you can see there, they are heavy odds favorites. We've got decimal odds there. Um, they are 1.170 and they are favorites to win this game against Livingston. And to be honest, they should win this. Uh, these teams played four times last season with uh, with Rangers not losing once. Um, the only uh, blemish uh, in those four games was a nil-nil draw played at Ibrox. Uh, Ibrox. Uh, and uh, otherwise, Rangers won the other three matches, uh, winning them to nil. And they never let Livingston score a goal in those four games last season. So I'm backing Rangers pretty heavily here to get a win against Livingston. Um, we've got a score prediction of 1-0. You know, it might be a low-scoring game. Rangers have not played a competitive match yet, um, and they are getting ready for that game against Malmo, so we'll see how um, how much energy they um, expend. Uh, otherwise, I don't see them giving up a goal to a 
so-so Livingston team who finished sixth last season uh, in the Premiership and probably overachieved. Now let's look at that Celtic versus Hearts game. Now on paper, these are two of the big teams in Scotland, obviously Celtic, um, but Hearts, the Edinburgh team, they are one of the uh, bigger clubs in Scotland, but they're just coming back up from the Scottish Championship promoted at the end of last season. Uh, Robbie Nielsen uh, has done well with this team, but you know they're going to be coming up against a very good uh, Celtic side. And to be honest, they should not win this game. Uh, Celtic should pick up the victory here. Now, keep in mind, Celtic did play in midweek in Champions League second qualifying round game. Uh, they lost to Michelin from Denmark uh, in that in extra time and are now eliminated from the Champions League. They will move to the Europa League now uh, into the qualifying round. So it's already been a disappointing campaign. I mean, two games in already and Celtic are already having a disappointing campaign, you could say, after Ange Postgolu, that's a tough name to say, Post. Post Kogalu uh, took over the club from Neil Lennon um, this season, and there are a lot of problems there at Celtic, um, and these are very deep problems. Uh, obvious problems are at the back uh, with the goalkeeping situation, but there are more than more problems than just that. And uh, part of it is, you know, Post Kogalu has to get his tactics around or, or instilled in this team, and I think that's going to be a problem. And to be honest, Celtic probably need. A overhaul in their squad. Now, this is a team that's good enough to finish second, but I don't think they're going to win the league. Um, but I also do believe they will win against Hearts. And two to one, that looks like a good scoreline to me. Um, I'm backing Celtic to win this game. Now, let's move on to St. Johnston and Ross County and St. Mary and Dundee. Now, these two games are a little bit more difficult to call because these teams. Uh, looking at my uh, table from last season, all these teams finished in fifth place or lower in the 12-team league. And to be honest, once you get outside, say, the top three, four teams in the Scottish Premiership, it's a little bit harder to call because the teams are a little bit more evenly matched. Now, looking at St. John St. Johnston, St. Johnstone, I should say, and Ross County, St. Johnstone finishing fifth last season while Ross County uh, finishing 10th and um, just uh, above the relegation line there. Um, but St. Uh, Ross County will be playing at home. Like I said, this is a little bit of a difficult game to predict. Now, if you look at the hot trend there, we are five for six predicting totals over 1.5 in games with Ross County in the last six games. So, you know what, rather than go with a, a prediction from me to for a team to win this game, I like that odds of over 1.5 goals in this game. So I'm going to back 1.5 goals uh, over 1.5 goals, I should say, in this match between St. Johnstone and Ross County. Now, if you have to twist my arm, I'm going to pick a uh, team to pick up a victory. It's really difficult to tell. Now, Ross County will be playing at home. I believe there will be fans in attendance. So do you know what? I might pick them to pick up an upset victory on opening day in the Scottish Premiership. Um in this game. But otherwise, if I'm putting a cumulator together with Rangers, Celtic, and over 1.5 goals in this game. Now let's look at that last game there. St. Mir St. Marin and Dundee FC going at it there in Dundee. So Dundee came up last season from the Scottish Championship after uh, winning promotion in the playoffs. Uh, they're going to have a lot of fire uh, in them to get a, vic a big victory in the opening weekend of matches there in the Premiership. And they'll be playing St. Marin. As I said, they finished uh, lower mid-table. Um, and you know what? I actually fancy Dundee to pick up a win here uh, in the opening game. Like I said, they've just come up from the Scottish Second Division. Uh, they're going to be playing at home. And I can see them actually picking up a win and um, going, uh, excuse me, picking up a win uh, on opening day of the season and uh, setting themselves up very well for uh, the season ahead. Now, I just want to talk about one more team here in Scotland uh, before we move on. Uh, we finish up for today, and that is Aberdeen, who will be playing uh, the following day on August the 1st, which is Sunday. Aberdeen are coming off of playing in the Europa Conference League uh, on Wednesday night. They qualified for the uh, third qualifying round to move on to play. Um, oh, well, they moved on uh, after beating uh, BK Hacken on aggregate. Now, um, these two games here, we're looking at the Sunday games with uh, the Scottish Premiership. We've got Hibernian and Motherwell, Hibs and Motherwell, and Dundee United and Aberdeen. Now, speaking about this Aberdeen team, I actually really like this Aberdeen team. I like what they've done in the offseason. Now, they 
they barely scraped through the Europa Conference League second qualifying round to the third qualifying round, which I think will do pretty well in that tournament uh, if they can get to the group stage. Um, but I like this Aberdeen team. There's something about what they've done in the offseason, the signings of uh, Scott Brown, J. Emmanuel Thomas, and um, Christian Ramirez. I really like what they've done, and I think that they can do well in the league. Obviously, they're not going to trouble Celtic and Rangers and one and two, but this is a team that can finish third most definitely and possibly go deep in the cup competitions. I like them to win on Sunday, two uh, one against Dundee United. I like that scoreline too, to over two point five goals, Aberdeen to win, and then Hibs and Motherwell. Hibs are a team that are improving very much there in Scotland. Um, they were very good last season and fun to watch. Um, I like what, like I say, I like what they're doing. Um, like I say, they finished third last term. They will fight for that third uh, third place position, I think, with Aberdeen. And I like them to beat Motherwell uh, on opening day. Motherwell finishing eighth last season. Uh, over 2.5 goals here in this one. 2-1 victory for Hibs. Um, I do like that scoreline. I do like over 2.5 goals. And I like Hibs to win. So to uh, give you a conclusion for the weekend, I like Aberdeen and Hibs on Sunday to pick up wins if I'm going with a double uh, in these games in the Scottish Premiership. So guys, that's our quick hit today for the Scottish Premiership. I'm going to come back to you more with these quick hits. I like these um, video-based um, video based, video based, it's hard to say, video based blogs or vlogs, I guess we could say, um, on these different football leagues to give you some picks coming up um, for games around the world. So uh, let me know what you think about these quick hits uh, in the comments below. Like and subscribe also to Zcode System and sign up if you haven't already so you can use the Soccer Buddy tool and all the other tools at Zcode System. And um, like I say, comment below. Let us know what games that you're going to be betting on. And for the next quick hits video, let us know what league you would like us to cover uh, because it could be uh, any of the leagues that we showcase here on uh, the Soccer Buddy tool, which is a lot of them. MLS, the Ukraine Premier League, Uruguay, Sweden, whatever you want to know we can give you. Just let us know in the comments below, and I will see you next time, guys, later.